Tevin Jenkins, the right tackle from Oklahoma State. Nassos, what are your thoughts on him? So going back to those tiers I was talking about, Tevin mm-hmm. Jenkins is an offensive tackle, as Blake said, and Great that's tackle. tier one for the Packers. Yep. So that means that he's starting day one. And right now, if you look at the Packers' offensive line, since um, Bakhtiari is actually injured, he tore his ACL very late in the season, I'd say right now we have Turner at left tackle. We could put Runyon at guard, Jenkins at center, Lane Taylor at right guard, and then we need a tackle to come in and be that right tackle. Or another scenario that we could do is keep Jenkins at that left guard, still have Turner at left tackle, put Patrick at center, Taylor at right guard. And then if we don't get someone, we'd have like Yash and Nijman start at right tackle. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I think this guy – um, Tevin Jenkins is a very good pick. He's 6'6", 317 pounds. Yeah. And in our mock draft, we actually took him in the first round. He was yeah. available there. There's been mock drafts done on NFL Network that take him for the Packers. And he's definitely have, going to have to be either like a first round pick for the Packers yeah, or to. if we trade it up early in the second round because he's not going to get to the Packers' second round late pick. No. But this guy is very special, and he would start day one especially since Bakhtiari is injured. And I think he could still start once Bakhtiari comes back too. Just we yeah, move Turner to a guard position and then we'd have Bakhtiari and Jenkins as our tackles. Yeah. So Lane Taylor, I, he's actually a free agent and I don't think we've re-signed him yet. So like, okay, I think that even furthers yeah. the need for a guy, but I think the interior guys we would have um, with Bakhtiari injured would be Runyon, Lucas Patrick, and Elton Jenkins. Elton Jenkins can play anywhere, but typically in the inside. But I think that, again, like shows we do need more O-line help, and it is like a pressing need. Um, and then Tevin Jenkins, so he played right tackle at Oklahoma. His pass blocking um, is pretty insane, honestly. So he, I believe, only allowed – one or two sacks for two straight years, which is pretty insane. Um, yeah. Not many pressures either. And in the run, he's very aggressive. He's not like a complete mauler, but like you get that sense where like – He buries the man he's up against. If he's blocking he the guy, like he's trying to, you know, he's trying to push them into the stands. Like that's mm-hmm. that's his goal. And there's a couple times where he actually does that um, in the Texas game against Joseph Asai, who's supposed to be a second, maybe late first or even early third, but probably a second rounder. Yeah, he's in that range. He got him pretty good a couple times on the run where he was just blocking him. Um, And, yeah, so he would fill a need there. And then a lot of people say, actually, that he might project better as a guard just due to his skills. Um, His feet aren't the – like, his feet lag behind his upper body a little bit. So I yeah, because he's very athletic up top. Like there's no yeah, no, he's a force. I'm very athletic. Six three thirty. So like, obviously the dude is massive. But um, so people are saying or projecting that he would almost be a better guard. And you're like, okay. So we have Elton Jenkins, Billy Turner, and Tevin Jenkins, who could all potentially rotate between guard and tackle. So that just adds another layer of versatility for the Packers if they were to take a guy like him in the sense that they'd have three dudes that you're comfortable playing more than two positions, which is kind of unheard of. Um, well, the Packers are good with that. They they like moving their linemen mm-hmm. around. And linemen, as I've said, they get injured. They do. And it happens, they're yeah. usually – like I mean, Bakhtiar is out for a while, but um, usually they're just – sometimes the Packers get injured for a couple, two or three weeks, but you don't even notice. Rodgers is still protected because we have guys that can shift around and play different mm-hmm. positions, and that's very important. A weakness for Jenkins because we've all we've been talking about how good he is. Yeah. A weakness is they're saying his arms are short, which yeah, a obviously shorter. is important for alignment because these longer guys who can like just kind of get around him, that's going to be a problem. These pros who have been working just at the beginning, but I feel like he can learn to stop them. And once he goes up against the competition, and like if we're throwing him in there right away, you might see a little bit of a learning curve early. But I think he'll be that guy. Like midseason, you want to worry about him, and he'll be protecting Rodgers. And then also in the run game, he's good. Yeah, that's a good point. So his arms are a little shorter, and that's why people are saying, like, hey, he might be better as a guard. Mm-hmm. And that's an interesting thought because there will be times where, like, he'll be – it'll look like he's getting beat. Um, and he he'll ju- he's just so physically dominant that he makes up for it. But, like, will that happen at the next level? That's where the question comes in. Like, his feet 
like I mentioned, are a little slower than you would like, like compared to mm-hmm. Rashawn Slater or Panay Sewell, where their feet are just rapid. Their their feet and upper body are um, in harmony with how they're moving. So that's a bit of an issue. And then another thing is kind of along those lines, it's more of a minor, but like when he's blocking downhill, like if he has a guy right in front of him, um, like he's obviously insane, but getting to the second level, like he's not the best at, um, just like meeting a guy in the second level if they're taking a different angle than straight ahead. So like getting to the second layer, he can do that well. But if there's a guy who he has to maybe make an awkward angle angle for, like he's not the best of the best athletes, I guess is what I'm trying to get at. He's still so, really good, but you know. Let me see. Let me see if you agree with me here. I think to start the season until at least Bakshar is healthy. If we get him, he's going to have to start at tackle. And then turn around the other tackle. And then I'd say based on how he does, once Bakhtiari comes back, obviously Bakhtiari is going to be left tackle. Then we see if we want to move Turner to right tackle or keep Jenkins there. And then, yeah. So we could either put Turner at tackle and Jenkins will stay in the lineup. He'll be a guard probably. Or we could leave Jenkins at tackle because Turner's main position is guard on the right yeah. side. Yeah. So like, if, and Jenkins is tackle, but we just don't know at the next level if he's going to be able to keep up on the outside he might just do better in the middle like i mean uh elton jenkins he's very good yeah. and he's not like he can play outside but we like him inside he didn't allow he's better, he's uh, one he's sack in his career. career yeah yeah one sack in his career exactly so overall i think me and you can agree tevin jenkins would be awesome for the packers mm-hmm. whether they play him at tackle which that's what it's looking like just due to the needs especially to start the season yeah, definitely to start the season, but he potentially has the versatility to play guard. We haven't seen it, but some of the traits are there. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, Tevin Jenkins would be awesome. I hope we draft him. 